what is going on guys welcome back to another video and in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to create this background slide effect inside of after effects so the first thing that we want to go ahead and do is rotoscope out our subject here so we have this car right here that we want to go ahead and rotoscope so i'm just going to select this rotoscope here and then double click the footage right here and then it'll open up this different layer that we can go ahead and rotoscope so you just want to go ahead and create a rough outline around your subject or the car here and it did a pretty good job here so you just want to go ahead and fix up kind of the parts where it messed up all right so i just finished up rotor brushing out that first frame just going along just seeing if the rotor brush messes up at all kind of gets off track here just trying to fix up the little parts where it messes up and as you're rotor brushing if you need to remove a selection from your like mask or whatever just hold down alt on your keyboard and then drag the cursor over the part that you want to remove all right so all the frames look good so now i can go ahead and just hit freeze right here all right so that's frozen now so we can go ahead and close out of this now we're back in our main composition and we just want to go ahead and duplicate this so hit Control d on that clip and then on the bottom layer delete that rotor brush and on the top layer here i'm going to bring the feather up to like 10 percent, and that should be good just kind of fixes up all the kind of rough edges on the rotor brush all right so on the bottom layer we want to go ahead and apply an effect called offset so just drag that into your effects right here and i kind of want to have it start like at nothing so we just want to keyframe it right now and then i want to have it like gradually like speed up to like something crazy like this so i'm just going to drag it to the left here the slider until i get to around like let's say like 8000 or something and i actually want to move this keyframe right here so i can just move this one all the way to the end of my clip there so now i can play this back and you can see that the uh, background is now shifting and it's like being duplicated so like as the frame goes over you can see there's multiple of them so now we just want to go ahead and select our keyframes here so i'm just and drag and select them hit f9 on the keyboard the easy ease them and then with the keyframe selected go into the graph editor and then we just want to drag these points so it looks something like this so it like gradually goes up you can see like it's a ramp but as you can see there's no motion blur here so it looks super weird like as it's going super fast you can literally see the car like perfectly fine so we want to go ahead and add directional blur let's just bring that onto the same clip for the directional blur let's change that to 90 degrees and for the blur length let's set a keyframe at zero at the start of our uh, timeline here and let's just move forward to like around the middle here and change this to like 40. all right so now you can see that the motion blur starts to begin once the clip starts and i can even move this motion blur over a little bit because it doesn't really start at the very start i'm just going to try to time that up so it looks pretty good somewhere around there and as you can see the motion blur just looks a lot better on that clip and looking back at this i kind of messed up the rotor brush right here the ground starts to like go up into the car there so i mean it's whatever i could go back and fix it if i wanted to but this is just a tutorial so i'm not that picky right now but yeah it looks super solid though i really like how it turned out so if you guys enjoyed this super short tutorial make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys on the next video Peace out.